Hello, my name is Alex from the Advent Label Applicator Company. This is going to be a demonstration of an Advent 200, which is a plain paper labeler. And we're going to be labeling two types of aerosol containers. Um, just to get the video going and not to be too long, we already have it set up for these larger um, um, aerosol cans, 17.5 ounces. We will take note that you have the labels in copy position four. So that makes it a little bit more limited. As you can see here, it's um, right on the edge of this cast aluminum um, cover. If you put the labels in copy position three, you could take advantage of this removable shoulder right here and give yourself a little bit more flexibility. But it does work fine. You can see here, we just simply insert and you can see that label goes on very, very nicely. Now, if you're a little bit on the high side, as you can see here, you can certainly adjust the container left or right. I'm gonna run one more just to make sure. Um, we have a limited stack of labels, so we actually had to add some labels to behind this stack. There we go. So, that can see that goes on perfectly. I think the issue is because we're not using this guide, you just wanna keep your hand on the right side, and it should go on perfectly. You should be able to average about 20 to 28 containers a minute. It's really an issue of how quickly the operator can insert the container and take it out. And here's our final can. You can see there, the 200 does a really, really nice job. I just want to point out that the machine has a standard skip glue feature. So you can see that labels on very, very securely. No bubbles, no trap there. Very, very tight along the surface of the, the container, which is um, very, very nice with um, metal containers that are seamed. You can see that's on there really, really securely. So I'm tearing down the label. And the idea is just to show you that we're only putting glue on about 25% of the label. We're putting about an inch and a half to two inches on the trail, I mean the leading edge and then about a half an inch on the trailing edge. And you can see there's your glue pattern and it's perfectly here each and every time. So let me just go ahead and relabel that quickly and then we'll switch to the next container. You can see here, it does a great job of labeling even with the existing material or label on there. So that's absolutely perfect. So now we're going to do a changeover and what we did is, um, the key adjustment on the 200, what makes it work so well with these types of products, is that we have a carriage system that's fully adjustable, so we could adjust for different diameters, um, anywhere from one inch to, in diameter up to almost 12 inches in diameter. But we also have these white rollers and these stainless steel collars that are fully adjustable. And that allows us to clear these high points or these ridges on these aerosol cans. And what we've done is, we've already gone through the setup. And in your case, we could just leave this guide right here at the bottom, move this product guide in, give yourself a little bit of clearance, as you can see here. You can see we've moved these white tires and these stainless steel collars to clear this upper ridge right here. It's the same diameter, so we don't need to adjust for the diameter. And then the only other adjustment we need to make is when we take our stack of labels, we're going to be moving it all the way down here. And you can see here, you need to get this black feed tire on this side, and then we'll move this guide. So let me grab my Allen wrench tool, which comes with the machine. What I'll do is I'll just simply put one label right here, just so I know where to go. Everything on the 200 could be adjusted with your Allen wrench tool, including the overhead pressure arm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move this guide in. Okay. I'm gonna grab the stack of labels. You could certainly use these long label guides, but usually for narrower labels, it's not as important. Make sure you have a little bit of play here. See that label, make sure it's moving nicely. Okay. There we go. 
And then the final adjustment is I can actually run the overhead pressure arm this way, but just to demonstrate how easy it is to adjust, just take your Allen wrench tool and then I'm just going to move it to the center line of the product. When I tighten it up, I make sure there's a little bit of gap right there and then I should be good to go. And just like that, we've adjusted for the product. You can see here, I'm a little bit on the high side. As you can see here, if it hits the ridge, it's going to cause the label to not wrap around as tightly as it can. So, the simple adjustment is I just need to move my product up a little bit. Okay. Move this in here. I want to make sure that there's a little play right there so it doesn't bind as it rotates. And I'm going to go ahead, try it again, and see how it goes on. And there we go. Absolutely perfect. And just want to point out really quickly that it's very, very important that your labels be slightly undersized. You want to make sure there's a sixteenth of an inch clearance on both the top ridge and the bottom ridge. So your labels are great. Just like to point it out if you get more labels that that's the big rule of thumb or very, very important. Okay, we'll go ahead and start. And then the machine's going to adjust with the same overhead or uh, skip glue pattern. Um, it's already putting there on there nice. Um, only 25% of the label. And then the final, just to show you how easy it is, if you're not running or if you're running them unfilled, just go ahead and move your guide. Let's make sure. I'll make sure we have a little bit of play because all containers have a little bit of. Um, the height's not going to be exactly the same. So you just go ahead and insert. And again, does a really nice job within a sixteenth of an inch on the overlap. And here's our final container. And there we go. So that is the Advent 200 labeling your two aerosol containers. You can see we have this very flexible carriage system that allows to clear these high points and um, also we're putting a, a skip glue pattern automatically on the labels. There's nothing to adjust. The machine automatically knows to put